Second Turkish Division Club, Ahmed Spor, is getting ready for the relegation battle in Tarsus, a city by the Mediterranean. The team bus is about to leave for the stadium, and the club president expects a tough away game. Yet again, Ahmed Spor fans are not allowed onto the grounds. This has been going on for years now, the official reason being security concerns. The fans that came nevertheless are disappointed. Can't they guarantee security for just 30 to 40 away fans? Provocations never originate from our side. We're a club promoting understanding and peace. En route to the stadium, the team's bus is accompanied by an armored police vehicle. Apparently because the club's president and his players are from the Kurdish stronghold Diyarbakir. Nobody's bothered that we need to travel without our fans every time. It's not fair, and it hurts. In the stadium, police are out in force. The Kurdish visitors are greeted by the Turkish national colors. The match is not going well for Ahmed Spor. The opposing fans shout, this is Tarsus, you won't get out of here again. In the end, Ahmed Spor loses 5-0. Club president Metin Kilvuz rushes out of the stadium. At least this time, the team and club officials are spared being beaten up, unlike in October. The grim result dampens the players' mood. Since the authorities banned their fans, they've been on a steady decline. Of course we'd love to have our fans supporting us. I've stopped counting how many matches we've played without them. This was being heard of around the world. Even after the match, waiting fans aren't allowed near their team. And Kilovos and his players have to wait too. The police always lets them out of the stadium last, quoting security reasons. The Kurdish city of Diyarbakir, home to Ahmed Spor, is set on the banks of the Tigris River. In the past, there were recurring violent clashes between Kurdish nationals and the Turkish state here. The elected mayor of Diyarbakir was removed by the government, the accusation supporting terrorism. Now, portraits of President Erdogan line the streets. Metin Kilovuz, a lawyer by profession, has witnessed the decline of democracy in his hometown. He himself has been indicted several times. Today, no rally, press conference, or any other public expression of opinion are allowed in this city anymore. But the Kurdish question needs to be solved. If we succeed in that, Diyarbakir could become a beautiful place on this earth. But there still seems to be a long road ahead. Ahmed Spor players have also been repeatedly targeted by the authorities. Striker Deniz Naki was born in Germany. Three years ago, he had to appear in court on terrorist propaganda charges. He had publicly criticized Turkish security forces. After returning to Germany, his car was shot at on the highway by unknown persons. Whether they're Turkish or Kurdish, many players don't want to play in Diyarbakir anymore. Kilovuz struggles to find sponsors. His club faces being financially ruined. The new stadium on the city's outskirts won't change that either. But Metin Kilovuz wants to keep this club alive as part of Kurdish identity in Turkey. We live in Turkey. We fight for our rights here and for a country where everyone can voice their opinion without fear of repercussions. That's what defines Ahmed Spor. He hopes the story of the only Kurdish professional football club in Turkey continues, even with empty stands, if necessary.